Hello everyone. Today we are going to do a problem based on leveling. Let us read the question. It was required to ascertain the elevation of two points P and Q and a line of levels was run from P to Q. The leveling was then continued to a benchmark of 83.5. The readings being obtained are shown below. Obtain the reduced level of P and Q. In the table, the station numbers are given. Back site, intermediate site, four site are given. The reduced level for the last point is given. And this reduced level is taken on the benchmark. In the question, we have been asked to find the reduced level of P and Q. To find the reduced level at Q, first we need to find these two reduced levels. And to find the reduced level at P, First, we need to find these two reduced levels. So, we have to find all of the reduced levels. Using the rise and fall method, we can easily find them. In the table, we have to include two more columns, rise and fall. To find rise and fall, first we need to separate the readings from backside to foresight. Here is the first backside and this is the foresight. This is the first one. This is the back side and this is the foresight, second one. And this is the next back side and this is the foresight, third one. This is the back side and this is the foresight, fourth one. And finally, this is the back side and this is the foresight, fifth one. So, totally there are five. Let us take the first one. We know that to get rise or fall, we have to subtract from the back side to the foresight. If we get a positive value, we have to write in the rise. And if we get a negative value, we have to write in the fall. This minus this, we will get a positive value. So that should be in the rise. Now let us take the second one. This minus this, we will get positive value. So we have to write in the rise. Let us take the third one. This minus this, we will get a negative value. So it should be in fall. Then this minus this, we will get a positive value. So that should be in the rise. Let us take the fourth one. This minus this, we will get a negative value. So it should be in the fall. Let us take the fifth one. This minus this, we will get a negative value. So it also should be in the fall. The last reduced level is given. Using that, we can find the other reduced levels. But we have to go from the bottom towards the top to get the reduced level of previous station. If it is rise, we have to subtract by the reduced level. And if it is fall, we have to add that with the reduced level. Let us find the reduced level of station number 6. In the seventh station, we have fall. So with the reduced level, we have to add the fall so that we will get this. Now let's find the reduced level in the station number 5. In the station number 6, we have fall. So with this reduced level, we have add this so that we will get this. Now we need to find the reduced level of station number 4. In the station number 5, we have rise. So we have to subtract the rise by the reduced level so that we will get this reduced level. Now we have to find the reduced level at the station number 3. In the station number 4, we have fall. So with this reduced level, we have add this so that we will get this. We need to find the reduced level in the station number 2. In the station number 3, we have rise. We have to subtract the rise by this reduced level so that we will get this. Now we have to find the reduced level in the station number 1. In the station number 2, we have rise. So we have to subtract that by this reduced level. So that we will get this reduced level. In the question, the reduced levels of the point P and Q were asked. We have found both of them. Now let us find the summations. When we add all of these, we will get the summation of backside. When we add all of the foresights, we will get the summation of foresight. And when we add all of the rise, we will get the summation of rise. And finally, when we add all of the fall, we will get the summation of fall. Now we have to apply the check. The summation of backside different, the summation of foresight will be equal to the difference between the summation of rise and the summation of fall. 
and that will be equal to the difference between the last reduced level and the first reduced level for all three of them we are getting the same answer hence okay now we are going to end this session thank you for watching this video